Hello everybody, my name is Rebecca. I'm a support technician here at Tower Coverage. And today we're going to go over what Tower Coverage is and how it can help you with your WISP. Tower Coverage is an RF propagation platform that helps you plan your network. We're global, so what that means for you is that you can create maps for any geographical area in the entire world. The settings on Tower Coverage are fully customizable, and our maps are generated based on actual RF propagation, topography, and land cover data. One of the biggest benefits to using tower coverage is the pre-qualification of your user base, whether it be through a path analysis or utilizing our end-user data collection form. In other words, you won't be rolling out a truck when you don't need to. You can also determine, based on analysis results, what it would take to make someone actually serviceable. Add into that the fact that you can track your no-gos, you'll have the ability to leverage that data for strategic network expansion. If you don't have a TowerCoverage.com account to run some tests with, you can register on our website. Click on Getting Started to sign up for either a 2 or 14 day trial. Next, you'll verify your email address and you'll be good to go. Creating a site is the first step in building out your network. Each site represents a tower and you'll need to plot these out before you can create coverages. You can see that the interface here is fairly simplistic. You'll have a few different options for pin placement, you can plug in an address in the search bar. If you have lat long coordinates, you can plug them in here. You can also use the DMS style lat and long. And in addition to that, you have the ability to manually adjust things by clicking around the map. Filling out the data is pretty straightforward. You can choose a custom pin color or identify the tower by a specific group. Utilizing these options can help you keep your setup more organized. For those of you with established networks, you may be looking at this process and starting to sweat over the sheer amount of data you're going to have to input. Fortunately, there's a shortcut for the creation process in the form of a bulk upload. In that case, you'll fill out a template, upload the data, and move on to the next step in the process. Technicians are always available to help should you need any assistance. Once you've finished with site creation, you'll need to create some coverages. This process comes a lot easier if you set up a radio system first. If you do that, it'll autofill a lot of these fields, and it's great if you use the same piece of equipment or same general settings more than once. I'm not going to go into depth here because we have other resources that cover this process fully. The main thing I want you to take away from this is that all of these fields use actual equipment data, right down to the antenna pattern files. If you can't find the pattern in the dropdown, you'll have the option to upload one. Antenna pattern files can be sourced directly from the manufacturer, or they can be developed through our antenna pattern creation document. In order to successfully upload one, there are a few different rules to follow for a compliant file. The file should contain 720 rows of data. Line 1 and line 451 should match. This is the gain at azimuth degree 0 and elevation angle 0. Line 181 and line 631 should match. This is the gain at azimuth degree 180 and elevation angle negative 180. Last but not least, the beam width filter should be a numerical value, so check for that as well. Now, what do you do in the case of a non-compliant file? The best course of action is to contact the manufacturer and see if you can get a compliant file. The alternative is to alter the pattern yourself. Tower coverage cannot correct non-compliant antenna pattern files. Company policy dictates that any alteration of manufacturer files is up to the individual. Any uploaded antenna pattern file will remain unique to your account. Moving back to coverages, I also want to point out here that using the required reliability, you can add statistical loss to the coverage. This is a fudge factor setting to make your results a bit more conservative the use of which depends on how cautious you want to be. If you want to be cautious in the extreme, you can activate the view shed option, which turns all of the surrounding land cover into something like lead. This is useful if you're looking for a connection with a direct line of sight. We've got a couple of other things to highlight here. You can view a heat map of the population data over the coverage by activating the data images checkbox. There's also a land cover overlay you can view. You can apply custom land cover settings for different projects. 
If you're creating more than one coverage, for example, four sectors for 360 degrees of coverage, we have a shortcut available in our coverage array feature. This creates the same sector in a different position with different names. You can choose evenly spaced or you can space them out manually. To alter a value on multiple coverages, we have a bulk update option. You can access this option from the coverages main menu. Simply click the coverages you'd like to update, toggle the off switch to the on position on the left side of the value, and alter the value as you see fit. You can see that the creation process is fairly detailed, but we have a lot of built-in shortcuts to help the process along. The next thing I want to touch on is our section for fiber creation. If you have fiber in your network, it's beneficial to build this out for several reasons. One reason is that if you include fiber in the layout on your multi-map, any user analysis within that coverage will show it as an install option. If you plan on using tower coverage to complete your Form 477 paperwork, Fiber uses a different technology code than fixed wireless. In order for your census data to be accurate, you'll need to include those polygons before you pull the data. The build process is initiated by dropping a starter pin. Users will then click along the path to build other polygon. Distance allowed will determine the size of the area the polygon covers. The creation process contains built-in flexibility to allow you to move or delete pins as you build your path. We have a feet to meters conversion field for the sake of convenience. You can keep track of the mode and type of fiber as well as add some notes and change the color of the polygon. Once you have your coverages created, you'll be ready to create a multi-map. A multi-map is meant to represent specific regions or your entire network setup depending on how you want it to work. To create one, you'll select from a list of existing coverages. There are four different bits of functionality you can opt into. Electing to place a pin is a visual component that allows you to keep track of the location of each tower. Choosing to use the EUS data collection form will affect your web integration. Leaving this off will cause the iframe code from the map to display the map only. If you choose to include fiber coverages, you can display that as well. You can also elect to make your map public. This means that when someone searching for internet visits tower coverage and looks for public maps in your area, they'll see a visual of your coverage map as well as your contact info. If they submit an inquiry via our public form and they're in your coverage area, you'll get their information. When you get this far in the creation process, a lot of functionality opens up for you. As we touched on a bit earlier, there's web integration, help with FCC filing, and analyzing end-user data against multiple access points. In addition to that, you can pull up address data for your next marketing campaign or grab a KML file for outside projects. The ability to integrate tower coverage with your website is one of the most powerful components of our system. It enables you to collect customer inquiries, which are then automatically analyzed and collected in your database. The report provided will show the six best signal strengths available for your potential customer. From there, you can determine where you'd like to install them. If you have a billing system in place to manage your customer database, you should know that tower coverage integrates with many existing systems. This automates lead generation by pushing the data directly into that system. You can find a full list of who integrates with us on wiki.towercoverage.com. If your billing system isn't on our list or you've built your own system, our EUS Push API has public documentation available as well. We wanted to make sure that you'd be able to take advantage of that. There are two different types of web integration available. There's our standard integration option and there's a custom option which involves our EUS template generator. The standard integration option is the quickest to implement. You can have that up and running in a few minutes by simply clicking the copy iframe button and pasting the code directly into your web page. Depending on the state of the toggle switch, whether or not you have the data collection turned on, the code will display the data collection form or an interactive map. If you'd like to display both, you can do that by duplicating the map and keeping the data collection turned off for one of them. The standard option does have some customization available. You can find that under Account, EUS Settings. There, you can change the labels of the form, alter text, set it up for Google Analytics, adjust your mailer settings, and activate our customer notification panel. 
The second option available is our custom integration. This option is a bit more complicated and we recommend that you only use this option if you have a developer on staff. That being said, it is the more flexible of the two options and a qualified developer can more than take advantage of the leeway it provides for the look, feel, and functionality of the form. Moving over to the EUS data tab, I wanted to talk about what you could do with the EUS data once you've collected it. If you're listening to this and you're concerned about loading existing data and getting set up, there's a bulk EUS option for accounts tier five or higher. You can download the template for that under the up arrow icon at the top right of the screen. The first aspect of utilizing your EUS database effectively is user management. Here, you can change the pin status to track your installed customers and no-gos, mark a user as serviceable but not installed, and keep track of new inquiries. Additionally, you can add comments in the notes section, select a custom pin type. You have that option as well as being able to alter, delete, or reprocess that data. You can also elect to push that data back into your billing system once it's been altered. All of these things are basic user management, but the benefit from this is not just about organization, it's about future network expansion, and you'll see what I mean here in a few seconds. At the top middle of your EUS data screen, there's an advanced search button. Let's say you have an existing network, and you've been steadily collecting your end user data for a while now. If you've kept yourself organized and managed your data properly, you might start to see a buildup of no-gos. You've confirmed user interest in several different spots, and now's your chance to take advantage of it with our best tower feature. The first step in that process is to create a saved search. The easiest way to do this is to create a search by pen type. Click the radio button to confirm the save and give the search a name. Select the red X icon that represents your no-gos and click submit. Once you've done that, you can move on to the best tower tab. To finish the process, select Best Towers plus New, pick a Save Search from the drop-down, and click Create. On the next screen, you'll set some parameters for your analysis. This includes LAN cover and frequency settings, TX power and antenna gain, RX antenna gain and threshold, as well as AP antenna height and your client antenna height. Depending on the size of the query, this could take a few minutes to process. The results in heat map will indicate by color the most strategic place to build your next rig. Red indicates full coverage. Green indicates coverage of 50% of the EUS data analyzed. And blue indicates no coverage. The brown dots on the map represent already existing structures. This is ASR tower data. And if you click on one of these dots, you'll find the height of the structure as well as a link in the form of a registration number that opens to an entry in the ASR database. ASR tower data is also included as an optional overlay on our standard multi-maps. If you've been in the WISP industry for a while, you're probably aware that the deadline for FCC filing comes around twice a year. Some of you have a billing system that you rely on for your CSV exports. Some of you don't have that and you're using some sort of manual process to get the files you need. The issue with using a billing system is that the census blocks you pull are only going to be based on your subscribers, not the full area you cover. As a result of this, someone could end up getting a grant to cover bits of your unclaimed territory. If you use the data from tower coverage, you'll be reporting the area you actually cover, avoiding that situation altogether and protecting what's yours. There are two different ways you can go about the FCC filing process if you're working with tower coverage. You can order the data and complete the process yourself, or you can use one of our technicians to complete the process for you. If you want to find out more about that process, there's a lot of information available on our wiki. You can find out the information we need to complete the filing, as well as a list of all the data contained in the downloads we have available. Just a reminder, data as of June 30th, 2020 is due in September. I want to shift back to our map systems here to bring up a few different things we haven't covered yet. One of those things is that you can add devices to any coverage map. Right click to open the menu and select an option. From there, you can give the device a name, link a Google document, and identify it with a device group. 
Additionally, you have the option to add some notes and link an IP address. This allows the device to be pinged to check for availability. The next thing I wanted to go over was doing a path analysis. A path analysis can be performed on both a coverage map and a multi-map. You can use the coverage settings or you can define a custom height. The reason this is so valuable is that while a customer may be unreachable at your standard install height, it might only be a matter of using an extension pole to complete the install. Another aspect of doing a path analysis worth noting is that if you do it from a coverage, you can save the analysis as a point-to-point -point link. Let's go ahead and take a look at our links menu. If you aren't creating a link from a path analysis, you're going to be selecting two available sites from your database. The settings are similar to the coverage creation process, but because you're creating a point-to-point, -point, it makes the assumption that the equipment is set up to accommodate that. There are no positioning values to adjust during link creation. Select your frequency, polarization, and rain zone. If you are unsure of the rain zone you reside in, the info button on the side will pull up a guide to help you along. Next, you'll set your TX power, antenna gain, and line loss, followed by your client settings. Once you've adjusted the system performance values, click Create New Link, and return to the link main menu to view the results. On a related note, once you have your links created, you have the option to form link groups. The color-coded link paths can then be viewed from any multi-map. You can see at the top of the screen here, links display the same sort of visuals you get from a standard path analysis with one exception. The slider dynamically updates the elevation data as you move along the path. As you slide along here, your position on the map is going to change. If you adjust your zoom settings closer to ground level, you can see the objects that could be obstructing your path. If you prefer a more detailed view, you can download the Google Earth flyby available at the bottom left corner of every link. On the top right here, you've got your link performance data. And if you examine the path analysis, you can determine the type of land clutter showing up in your path. Every color you see here relates to a type of land clutter data. That makes sense on principle, but let's go take a closer look. Represented here is a standard set of land cover settings. They are color coded and the information contained within the black boxes is completely adjustable. What's seen here is a good general starting point, but if you find that a path analysis is slightly different from what you see in the field, you can adjust these values to get a more accurate reading. If you prefer to have different sets for different projects, you can do that as well. Click Add New to create a new set, alter the values to your liking, and click Update to save your changes. Density values can be adjusted to anything from 0 to 10,000. Adjusting to maximum density is going to be the same thing as creating a viewshed. All the clutter data behind our propagation results comes directly from the USGS. As of May 28th, we updated to a new version of LiDAR data. You can find out more about this on the section of our wiki titled, What Data Do We Use? By now, we've covered the bulk of what tower coverage is capable of, but there's still more things to discover that we haven't discussed yet. There are a few different customization options, such as uploading a company logo that will show up on printables, or even adding a KML overlay to preview on your multi-map. There's also our EUS reprocess feature. This feature allows a newly added coverage map the ability to view the EUS data contained within it. You can then reprocess that data to see if you can reach any end users you were previously unable to install. As you can see, tower coverage is an expansive platform. We're not just isolated to RF propagation and we've got tons of different features and tools that benefit WISPs in their day-to-day. -day. That being said, the best way to know our system is right for you is to try it out yourself. Sign up for a free trial at towercoverage.com. Don't forget to contact our support staff should you need any assistance. You can contact us via email at support at towercoverage.com. 
or you can call our office number at 636-671-6262. We are available 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday, Central Standard Time. Link Technologies, Inc. is your number one resource for ISP solutions, training, network design, and consulting. We specialize in everything from VPN setup to BGP to keep you ahead of the market trends. Top of the line support for all of your service provider needs. Link Technologies, Inc. One call solves it all. Tower Coverage is an RF propagation mapping system that allows website integration for customer sign-up and pre-qualification. Use this data to scientifically plan network expansion and help your WISP succeed. Does your ISP have an automated customer sign-up and pre-qualification system? Would you like to simplify your FCC Form 477 filing? Would you like a list of names and addresses for marketing based on wireless signal strength? Tower coverage allows you to create accurate RF propagation, fiber, and cable coverage maps for any geographical location in the world, as well as point-to-point -point link path calculations, helping ISPs, first responder networks, campus networks, oil and gas, municipalities, and utility companies plan for mission-critical wireless networks. Using tower coverage, you can build your coverage maps using a variety of tools designed to fit your specific needs. Let's say, for example, that you are an internet service provider that wants to automatically qualify incoming leads. For this purpose, you will use tower coverage to create an RF propagation map based on the height of your towers and the specifications of your wireless equipment. Once you have your coverage map built, you can use our website integration tool to embed a form on your site that will allow your potential customers to check their eligibility for your service. After your potential customer verifies their location via a pin drop, Tower coverage will run a link path calculation, analyze the results and output that result directly into your billing system and send your sales staff an email with signal strength and link path profiles to that location. You can edit any of these submissions within tower coverage, adding relevant notes and changing how they appear on your map. This allows you to map out areas of need and plan your future expansion. Tower coverage even has a tool that automatically determines the best location to deploy a new tower based on your coverage needs. Tower coverage displays that information in the form of a heat map with the ability to overlay the FCC's ASR database. This allows you to determine the most ideal spot to complete your build out. After you build your new tower, you can download an address list of all individuals that live in that coverage area. Filter them by signal strength and begin marketing your new service to them. This is just one example of the many things that tower coverage can do to help you grow and optimize your organization by using accurate, usable data. To begin automating your critical mapping operations, visit towercoverage.com or call 636-671-6262 today. Link Technologies, Inc. is your number one resource for ISP solutions, training, network design, and consulting. We specialize in everything from VPN setup to BGP to keep you ahead of the market trends. Top of the line support for all of your service provider needs. Link Technologies, Inc. One call solves it all. Tower coverage is your RF propagation system to empower your network. Real-time data and metrics enable your coverage area, reaching your customer base. Get a free trial at towercoverage.com.